Okay, so here we have our header tags, dev tags, aside tag. These are HTML5 tags, part of the HTML5 code tags for the new HTML5. So as an example, separate from div tag IDs, we can give a div tag ID anything we want to give it. We can call it the Al Pacino tag. We can call it the Sarah Bond tag. Okay, so these are defined HTML tags, just like body is defined, and H1 is defined. So I just want to share that with you and get that into your head, that these are physically defined tag names. So now we're going to create rules for the tags. So how do we do that? Just like we did before with the div tags, we're going to select the header tag. We're going to select the tag, come down here, select the tag, come over here to the property palette for CSS styles, and based on these choices here, we're going to make a new CSS rule. New CSS rule inside of the container div. Now, in this particular case, it's kind of acceptable if I did something like this, if I said the header tag inside the container div, okay? Because I could have many header tags inside my document. Now, to make this simple, let's just say less specific here, okay? So let's do a couple things to this header tag. First of all, let's make the header tag height. Let's make the height of the header tag 150 pixels. Okay. In fact, I changed my mind. Let's make the header tag 90 pixels. Let's put in 10 pixels of padding. Now, if you looked at my previous videos, we call that if you want to retain this 90 pixel height, this is going to make it 110 pixels because it's 90 plus 10 on the top and 10 on the bottom. So if you don't want 110 and you do want 90, we have to minus 20, minus 20 pixels, 10 on the top, 10 on the bottom. Now, very important step here, unlike a div tag by default, when I hit the apply option, it looks like nothing happened here. Okay, in fact, let's just give this a colored background so you can see that nothing happens here. I'm gonna give this a light pink background. So if I hit the apply option, you'll see the header tag has no background. The text has background. Here's the problem. Here's the problem. All these tags, header tag, nav tag, a side tag are inline by default. We need to go to the category called block and we need to display this as a block of type. So if I apply option now, you'll see that the header tag now in fact is 90 pixels high. Now, here's a bit of a problem with this. I like production techniques. I don't want to have to go to the app tag, set that the block, the side tag, set that the block, the section tag. That's going to be very tedious. I'm going to take my block away. I'm going to take my background color away too. And I'm simply going to hit the OK button. Okay. So now, header, double click here, you'll see header's height. It's going to be 70 pixels high, but I want to set it to block. I don't want to set each one individually. So here is the magic technique. Part of the reason I put these commas in here, so I could simply select this name of the tags and I can copy. I don't have to reinvent the wheel here, guys. If you type it in once, the purpose of having a computer is once it's typed in, you don't have to type in it again. You can copy and paste. So when I name these tags, this is like playing pool. If you're a good pool player, if you don't have a next shot, then go home. You always want to set up the next shot. So a header, comma, nav, comma, aside, comma. Therefore, I can just take this whole bunch of stuff, copy it, command and C, copy, control C for Windows, come down here and create a combination rule, compound rule. Compound rule, I copy and I paste. Copy, paste. How cool is that? I don't have to reinvent the wheel. I'm saying header, nav, comma, comma, aside, comma, section, comma, article. These are my HTML tags that we're going to hit OK to. So what's the name of this dialog box? The name of the dialog box is header, comma, nav, comma, aside. So we're going to set all these tags in one shot. We're going to set these to block. So if I set them to block, I would have a rule for header. So when I apply this, 
the header now has a block application. I apply the block display. Display has blocked all these tags. Simple, simple, simple. Hit OK, make it change, save a change. Now, the header tag, all the HTML tags should technically appear before any div tags. Make a change, save a change. Okay, now, what about these commas? Well, I get rid of the commas very simply by hitting Command F, Macintosh, Control F, Windows, and I'm going to search for text. I'm going to search for commas, and I'm going to replace it with nothing. Not a space, not a this, not a that. I'm just going to comma, tab, replace with nothing, and replace all. So, therefore, my, I'm going to get rid of this window here. I hate when that pops up. So therefore, I get rid of my comments. So in our next video, we'll build out the rest of these tags with rounded corners, backgrounds. I'll also share with you my techniques for making site colors and assigning the site colors the class tags for more flexibility. So my site's going to have much more flexibility if I assign this to class tags. We'll do that in our next video.